Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us tonight. We will start momentarily. Just a minute, please. Can you guys hear me okay? Yes. Perfect. I think we're going to give people another minute or two here to join. I'm curious. Let's see. We've got quite a few participants. Welcome, everybody. If you guys want to comment in the chat, where's everybody from? Houston, represent. <laughs> Alberta, Canada, Miami, Florida. Awesome. Former Houston, wow, Mina. <laughs> now South Florida. Maadi Cairo, wow. Marhaba. <laughs> Megdi, thank you for joining. I don't even know what time it is right now. <laughs> cool. Thank you to everyone for joining. We're so excited. We're going to continue now from where we left off. Last week, we had the blessing of Mina teaching us the Beskal Psalm. And the psalm that we used as the example, which you can find online, is the, the psalm for the general funeral prayer. And actually, there's a recording, an audio recording, and a self-practice video that are going to be posted for that specific psalm. And as a quick reminder, if you guys have any psalms that you would like us to help you put into music notes or that you would help want help recording how it should sound, you can email Cop to Kim's in English, and we'll announce some more things at the end, some other announcements as well. Um, I think... Peter, for the sake of laser pointer, is it okay if I share my screen instead of you sharing? Yes, please. I actually just killed it, so please Perfect. do. Perfect. Awesome. Well, um, let's see here. I don't see any clergy. Forgive me if I'm missing anybody. But um, Mina, can you pray for us, Mina? Mina Hanna? And if everyone else can mute their mics. Abe, do you mind going ahead and praying? Father Habibi, sure. Okay. <laughs> In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. Lord, we thank you so much that you've allowed us to gather another Monday in a row here in fellowship, in unity, to learn the hymns, to praise and worship you. And that we can grow in this time, in this one hour, even though it's a simple time, that we can grow in hymnology, in understanding both the words and the music that we are using to use as a way of praising you. Let this be a guide for us to take back to our churches and let it be a source for everybody that is joining us now and in the future who will use this, that we can continue to praise you with this wonderful resource um, of hymns in English through the music notes and through the audio recordings. I ask all this through your holy and precious name, through intercessions of St. Mary, St. Mark, St. Paul, St. Peshoy, and St. Emba Brahm, make us worthy to pray thankfully our Father who art in heaven. 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In Christ Jesus our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Perfect. Can all of y'all see my screen? Yes. Awesome. So last week, we taught the class in a unique format where Pete was gracious enough to respond to Mina's teaching. Oh, Awesome drawing. I don't know who that was. <laughs> um, but this this class and probably next class for the sake of time and because we really want to get through the notes, um, we're actually going to just try and plug along. But please comment in the chat um, to um, stop me if you guys have any questions. And that way we can at least respect those of y'all that are joining with us live. And then anyone that wants to comment online is also welcome to comment online, even if you're not with us on Zoom. But I'm going to try and plug along here through the notes just for the sake of time. But I'll, I'll break today's hymn into two parts. And God willing, I'll open up for questions if you guys have questions as well at the end. Um, so in case you didn't get it from all the announcements, and you can see it now on this slide, the hymn we're learning is This Is He or the hymn of the cross, which is chanted. Um, I don't know if you guys remember this, but I gave you guys a fun quiz about this hymn, actually, in our musical notation course. But who remembers how many times we chant this hymn in the entire Coptic calendar? Uh, hey, but to, to answer your question, we had we to say this twice. So in Thank other you. words... Yeah. Thank you, Mina. Go actually, ahead. use the chat, guys. Sorry, Mina. Mina, try and sorry, comment. Sorry, 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 no, problem. I, uh, no problem. So type a number. Type a number in the chat if you guys have a guess. I should have clarified. That was my fault, Mina. Type a number in the chat if you guys have a guess. But for those who did stream the musical notation course, if you don't remember, shame on you. And I don't like to say that lightly. But um, there's a unique answer to this question. So two is not the answer. Good guess. Three is also not the answer. Double guess. <laughs> Thank you, Mark, for your answers, though. Uh, any other guesses really quick? And I'll just give you guys the answer in a, in a second here. But just wanted to see if anyone has an idea how many times we chant him of the cross, Fiat of Enf, throughout the year. So we know of two so far. <laughs> oh, Mark Mikhail is seven. Mina Makar, 365. We're always chanting this hymn every day of the year. <laughs> um, so the ones that we know of, and maybe people who are smarter than me can probably let me know in the future to correct my own weakness, but we know of two Feasts of the Cross. So the Feast of the Cross happens twice, so there's two times right there. And then we know of chanting it on Holy Thursday. We chant it on Holy Thursday. And then we also know of chanting it on the Great Friday in the sixth hour and the ninth hour. So those are the, the main ones. I think there's an additional time. You can also chant it on Bright Saturday, but that depends on time. Funeral for priests. Fun fact. Thank you, Mina, for that. Absolutely. That's part of the rites of the parted clergy. Um, so there's another bonus time, but. Hopefully that's not too frequent and God give all our clergy long life. So good guesses, guys. But the five main ones we know of that are probably the most common are two Feasts of the Cross, once on Holy Thursday and twice on Good Friday. So with that being said, like I said, we're going to plug through these notes. And again, for those who obviously maybe might have missed it, we do use musical notation. So as you can see, if I'm zooming through these slides here, the whole hymn is laid out actually very nicely, even up until Afsholim, his good father, in the musical notations. And so as a reminder of the text, the whole text is, this is he who offered himself, offered himself up as an acceptable sacrifice on the cross for the salvation of our race. His good father smelt him at the evening watch on Golgotha. It's a beautiful hymn. This is one of my favorite hymns. Um, so we're going to split it in half and then maybe add 
a bonus third part of Afshulim, which is easy to get through. Um, because of the sake of time, we kind of decided that we won't do call and response live. So what I encourage you guys to do is repeat after me from home on mute, and I will give you guys a chance to re repeat. I won't go too quickly so you can still sing out loud. So choose a, a soft room, a soft space with no distraction, like Mina mentioned last week. And we'll just get right into it, guys, and 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 try and follow me with the patterns. And I'll and I'll stop and show you guys some of the unique spots where it dips and rises in the notes in the melody. But hopefully you guys can follow along. As a reminder, just follow the dots or the beats, as Mina likes to call them. So this is going to be, if we notice, we have two beats here from last week's lesson. This is two beats, and then this also equals another two beats. So every measure is four beats. This is a two beat here, and then one plus one, two beats, so on. So I'm going to just go through it. It's a very unique melody. Maybe many of you have heard it. For those who haven't heard it, you'll get to catch it right now. <clears throat> If my mic cuts out at any part, please let me know and I'll go back and sing that part. This should be here. <clears throat> I'll do that again. This here if you guys noticed we already have one pattern check this out from measure 14 we see a pattern of a and then we see it again on the next page kind of quickly where it goes a yeah, almost as if you're about to get back into what we just sang. So let's put those pieces together and we'll stop again right here where I stop. Let's see if we can get all the way through it. This, sorry. This, continues
pattern. So this is here we see another pattern beginning where we'll catch some of these eighth notes here of the lower part leading you back up. If you can see, this is a staircase going up in these quarter notes. And this is going to be a big theme throughout the whole hymn, this section here. So let's listen from where we left off. <laughs> That's going to be a big theme. Sorry, I messed up. This one is a unique part. We're going to see this come up later. And you can see it from the staircase down. Forgive me for mixing it up. It's been a long, long Monday. <laughs> so let me get you back into this just so I don't confuse you. together. So that's the second time we've seen this pattern and the second time that we have seen this staircase 
of quarter notes going down very low. So very beautiful. This hymn has some very unique melodies that we're breaking into right now. And then we're kind of going to see this is a halfway point already where we just stopped. So let's get back into that. Himself. Oh, 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 oh. Again, himself. Guys with me so far any questions up until that point from the beginning slide until we just stopped at measure 57 you can tell me page numbers or line numbers or measure numbers you can comment in the chat if not let me just go back and piece it together for you guys really quickly <clears throat> so we've done already now four pages which is you, you can see this hymn moves kind of quickly so let's do page one and two, and then page three and four. This Call that page one. Continuing. <laughs> Page two, we'll call that page two from where we just stopped. And now we get into the next part. Ah, Uh, 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 uh. 
So that's where we made it to, and that's already four pages. Good so far? Hit me with a thumbs up emoji or an angry face. Maybe those will tell me how you guys are feeling. <laughs> Perfect. So let's continue. Uh, 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 so just as a reminder, we did. Uh, 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 uh. Uh 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 you see these are the same two notes uh 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 and aksa aptabo Same three notes. Let's put that together again. Which I know it's weird to get into it, so I'll always get you into it with this staircase. to get too technical i don't want to scare anybody but someone comment really quick how many half notes are on line one and two of this page how many half notes and a half note is two beats a half note is an open circle with a stem so i just gave you the answer so now someone just tell me how many you see in the chat one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome job. Mark Mikhail was the first to answer. Very good job. And thank you for the other guesses. So this tells you something because let me like zoom ahead really quickly. Look at the next upcoming slides. How many other half notes we have coming up? A few here, a few here. And then we get into the off show limb section, which is a fast section. But so this now is the new tone of the hymn, so to speak, or the new theme. Before, I would say it was really building us up with a staircase up and a staircase down and, and back up. And then a part that if you guys noticed, some, some people might catch on musically, not to confuse anybody, but this section of repeated notes characteristically sounds, this section here in the beginning, this section here, Characteristically, that almost sounds like the same notes as the festive hitenni that we sing. But all of a sudden, we hear this new theme musically starting from page five is what we're calling it now as we continue. <clears throat> starting with these three repeated half notes. And then you see a lower one, and then it goes back up. And then you see two higher ones or three higher ones. So pay attention to these half notes because they will be your guide throughout the rest of the hymn as you continue to build on these sections and then you see again another staircase down which we saw earlier so the theme is repeating so let's put that all together as we continue awesome guesses and way to stay sharp on the number of half notes so again i'll get you into it and this is where we left off uh 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 uh
Half note equals four beats, two plus two plus two. I don't know if you guys heard me snapping, but that's so you can hear the beats all the way through. Now let's continue. Sacrifice. So now we're getting into the next new musical theme here. So let me get you into the sacrifice part here. <clears throat> oh, 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 sacrifice. Uh, 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 uh. that two identical sections right next to each other letting you know hey these notes you just sang you're going to sing them again right here Sacrifice. see ah we're going to do that again Sacrifice. Four beats, no stem. So let me do that one more time. And this is where we really get into the fun part of how the climax of this hymn of this hymn leads us into the the end of him of the of the cross for the salvation of our race. This text is also musically one of the climaxes of the hymn. So let's get to that. <clears throat> Tell me about lines two and three in this hymn. Someone comment really quickly. We see it right before our eyes in the notes. Yes, thank you, Mark Gerges. From here is a section that we again see here. Amazing job. I'll give you chocolate, but we're fasting. <laughs> Anyways, so let's get into this now. Very good. So keep Keep searching for the patterns as we're going through here, guys. Awesome stuff. Good job, Mina. Thank you. On the... different uh uh staircase uh 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 and i know i'm embellishing here so you can either uh 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 sorry uh 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 u
and that's going to get you into the next section. So let's piece that together really quick. And I know I'm, I'm flying by, guys, so forgive me. And please tell me if you get lost on any page or any measure or any line. Ah, favorite part of the whole hymn even though the whole hymn is beautiful we're building up to this section here so let's get into it through this second set of half notes we saw that were the same here if you look all the way down look at this two identical sections visually and then the third as you look down vertically you can see oh tell tell your brain okay i know it's about to change here even though I just did two of the same things, now it's about to change right here. And it's really leading us up into this section on cross. So <clears throat> I'm going to start from where I just left off on cross, if that's okay, just for the sake of time. And we'll continue to the end here. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, this is getting really beautiful. Let's go through that again. <clears throat> Starting from this last measure on the first line. Ah, uh, oh, sorry. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. So that's how you know this new section is starting because of three identical half notes. Ah, 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 ah,
continue. For the salvation. Before we get into this next staircase, let me do that again. <clears throat> For the salvation. And you would think the hymn is over there, but it's not, because then we continue into his good father which is the full completion of this meditation. So let me get you back into that section one more time. Ideally, in a perfect world, forgive me, I would have sung this whole thing start to finish and you guys sing along with me, but for the sake of time, I'll just get through the Afshulim part after I do this part, and then we'll do some announcements and questions at the end. So let me get you into where we left off on this climax of cross and put it all together to the end. Ah 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 we <laughs> Then we continue. His good father smelt him at the evening watch on go. Oh, 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 oh. By now we're used to these staircases at this point. So let me get you into that again. His good father smelt him at the evening watch on go. Oh, 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 go. So Golgotha is very easy. Musically, it goes where you think it's going to go. So the key is just to get into it. His good of Sholeme. His good. It's different in the English because it's less syllables. So I want to point that out too. So where there's exceptions needed, there's exceptions made. Of Sholeme musically is a longer word in Coptic. But here, his good father. Right away we get into it because we're focusing on the fact that his good father smelled the aroma of what Christ crucified on the cross for us on Golgotha. And this is very beautiful. So let me end this section of our race and get into um, Afshulim one more time, his good father. And then we'll be done and have some announcements and questions. 
And before you know it, even in less than an hour, by God's grace, we have made it start to finish. So now you can go back and I encourage all of you to um, replay this video step by step. It'll walk you through it. And I'm going to turn it over to Pete really quick. Let me refresh my presentation here and share my screen again. And Pete is going to give you guys some announcements and then I'll open it up for any, I guess let me open it up for questions first. So let me share my screen one more time and you guys can tell me a page or anything like that. <clears throat> All right, any questions, please comment in the chat or raise your hand to be unmuted by one of the moderators, but preferably just type your question in the chat online, wherever you're streaming and we'll answer it. If we can't answer your question today, we'll make sure to send you guys an answer as well. Any questions about any of the pages that we sang today? Just to summarize, I broke it up into what ultimately was four sections and two halves within, I guess, the whole hymn. From page one, two, three, and four is a half, and then five, six, seven, eight, nine is the second half. Within those two halves is also different melodies. Finally ending with his good father smelt him at the evening watch on Golgotha. All right, if there are no questions, I will turn it over to Pete. Oh, thank you. Tell her I say hi and I miss you guys. Thank you, Abe. Abe, can you refresh? This is the older... Uh... Oh, yes. Let me, Please. let me do that one more time. Refreshing now. Oh, perfect. While Abe does this, Abe, thank you very much. What a great, great class. Great refresher uh, for me, at least. Um, man, puts me in the mood. Let's go. I'm pumped <laughs> about Holy Week. <laughs> uh oh, this is old. And maybe I can pull it up. One second. Oh, let me, yeah, let me stop. <clears throat> or, uh, yeah. Okay, should be good to go. One more time, Abe, please. I'm refreshing now. Okay. Curiosity, just for my own personal question, you guys can comment yes or no, and I promise you we won't be offended, but was it easier to get through this hymn as you were reading along with me pointing at the notes versus when you tried doing this hymn by yourself, maybe just listening to a recording, yes or no? Was it easier? We have a yes, yes, thumbs up, yes. Perfect. Much easier. Awesome. Thank God. Thank God. All glory to God. And, and we're so blessed, as Mina told us in the previous lecture, that we have these notes from Abuna Abram Girgis. Um, and so to God be the glory and, and continue to use music notes. And to everyone out there that wants to keep using them, that's why we're here. And we're going to keep trying to give you guys more classes and more videos explaining them. So I'll turn it over to Pete. And now hopefully I think 
everything thank, is thank you updated. Abe. so yes so one one more session everybody um hopefully this is helpful we have the last one next monday uh, march 13th same time 8 30 p.m eastern or 7 30 central um big one next time we're gonna review your throne or the psalm for the 12th hour um during good friday so uh, this is huge um so hope you all can join so this should be a very nice one next slide Dave. and then one quick announcement if you guys um don't know about this group uh, we did a survey earlier in the year and realized we did not do a good job advertising this if you want to stay up to date with all of our updates um, just sign up for the signal group where we regu regularly post um, any new tracks or notes or any announcements. Um, you can just scan the QR code. It will take you straight to that group. And if you have any questions, just email us at coptikimsinenglish at gmail.com. Next. And of course, um, we want to share our app with everybody. I think most folks here know about the app but it's available on the google play store and the apple app store uh, we have all sort of seasons all the seasons of the church uh, we have the notations that abe um, just used uh, to teach us um, so it's a wonderful wonderful resource we continue to update it um, would love any feedback again email us at the coptic hymns in english at gmail.com if you have any issues or concern uh, Mark, the QR code, sorry about that, we'll double check, but if you go to copticimsinenglish.com, um, there's a link on the homepage as well. So our apologies about that. All Thank right. God. There's many ways to reach us now. Thank God it's growing, and we're so blessed that all of you know about this, and please share it with everyone you know and continue to use this as a resource. And thank you, really, all of you guys for your patience today in getting through this hymn it's a beautiful hymn and may we all pray together even though we'll be in different parishes may we all pray together from our hearts um pete if you can pray for us sure thanks abe in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit one god amen dear heavenly father thank you for this blessing thank you for this opportunity and thank you for giving us a chance to meditate um, on one of the holiest weeks of the year Holy Week, uh, leading up to Holy Resurrection. Thank you for this uh, wonderful uh, gathering and fellowship with our fellow deacons and congregation members that joined us tonight. Uh, we pray that you continue to support us during this great fast. Uh, be with us. Um, help us get through it. Um, help us get to the resurrection, uh, the light, and the purpose of it all. Uh, through the intercessions of St. Mary, Archangel Michael, St. Athanasius, and St. Paul, please hear us when we all say thankfully, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In Christ Jesus our Lord, for Christ, for thine kingdom, power, the glory forever. Amen. Thank you guys for joining. Have a good night and see you guys next Monday, God willing.